So that's very close to another Diamond League victory, but you are the 2014 Diamond League champion. It's been a great season for you. So it has been also a season for me since when we counted down the, the line from Palmas to Brazil's the last Diamond League. It has been an awesome season for me, I can conclude that, because I ran all the races I did this year in my London 1500 meters. I did my personal best by just two seconds, of which um, it has been one of the greatest career, one of the greatest season in my career running very well this year. So the intention was only just to win tonight here or position 201 or which is automatically I knew I wanted to win the trophy when I'll be in position 2 of which I knew it when I was in 50 meters I wanted to win the trophy so I'm very happy about it so I was for the last few weeks I've been struggling with injury which I have been having uh, some of the treatment in Italy with my doctor so I'm happy for the great achievement or the great treatment you have to me so I'm very happy about it is there anything you've done differently this year that's maybe seen the improvements or is it you're just getting older and better and better? So I can say it's a matter of maturity. I have uh, already matured in the race and then uh, for the last few years I've been playing full in tactics but this year there was no any major championships like Olympics or World Championships but next year is different year. So I knew I had to go back to the towing board and then see I will have to run very well in order to be among the medal contestants in Beijing come next year, 2015. So, my main aim for next year is only to be in a great year for World Championships in Beijing. And it's going to be a big next three years with the World's Olympics, then Worlds. How much confidence, if you needed it, does it give you that through 2014 you are the best over the 1500 and the mile consistently? So uh, what I'll just say is about this matter of uh, training hard because the next three years, starts from 2015 to 2017, are some of the busiest seasons of my career because there is Olympics, two World Championships in 2015 and 2017. But before we reach there, we have to run very well next year in order to improve. Not like the last two years I've been doing well in championships. You hear people saying Silas does not know how to run very slow race. But this, it has kept me a lot of challenges in my career. As well as I told you earlier, I've already become a chart over this race when you see from all along the season. I've run very poorly, very nicely. I want to improve this come next year. And then I prove my people that I am the right person for this. I want to be the greatest when I win one of the major championships come in the next two, one. You certainly proved a lot this year. We appreciate your time and we look forward to seeing you again in 2015. But I have to improve more. Oh, you've got two more. No more Diamond League, but two more races to go. No, no, this is my last race, but I have to race only in Rieti, one of the best places. I always do my best, like here in Brussels, and then some of the other stadiums I do my best. But I'll close my season on Sunday, come on 70. So I want to close the season very nicely, and then I, I took a rest, and then I start very early preparation for next year, because each and every one of us wants to race in World Championships or Olympic Games. So it will be one of the best in my careers next year. It will be like racing in Sosa Championships, in like Champion Leagues, <laughs> or in World Cup. So that's my main intention come next year. Well, enjoy your break, and we'll see you again next year. Okay, thank you thank so you. much.